Hi, it's Nicole from the Packway Dog Training, and today I'm going to show you um, step one of many steps to uh, get yourself and your dog to have a nice walk. Um, one of the number one things that people do when they're walking their dog is um, they set themselves up for failure by creating a lot of excitement around the front door and then taking that same state of mind outside and then the dog is pulling them down the street barking at other dogs and a string of other problems. So the first thing I want to do is I want to control um, the excitement in here and just make sure the dogs are calm, that they're relaxed, that they're already with me. And um, I'm just going to show you how I do that. Now, this is one of the interesting things. I try to use as little sound as possible um, when I'm doing this simply because sound tends to create more excitement, like sit, 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 or come here, I want to go for a walk. It's just going to create tons of excitement. So you actually really want to um, create a calm state of mind and just be really calm yourself and use more your, your body language, more your energy and, and some other things that I'll be using. But I'll just show you how it works today. So actually everybody's pretty calm and it's going to kind of free them up. Come here guys. So there's a little bit. That's everybody to... I want to do is I don't want to put a leash on an excited state of mind so if I have barking whining crying jumping up or even a lot of pacing I'm just going to um, I'm going to wait just literally wait it out before I put my leash on that dog because that if I put the leash on right when they're doing that then that's just saying that's just kind of rewarding the behavior so by waiting a little while it can take a little while at first but one year old German Shepherd <laughs> high level energy German lines, working type dog. If he can do it, any dog can do it, right? So first of all, um, this guy always knows he's first because he's usually the calmest. Here's Andrew. This guy doesn't like it if you put on the collar too fast. It makes him walk away. So I'm going to go slowly. Okay. Very good. try to, um, as I said, put the, get the leash set up on the, the dog that's the calmest first so that the dogs that are a little bit more prone to excitement, this guy can learn to be calm, right? Okay. And please note, I'm not asking the dogs to stay. It's okay that he moved because I didn't ask him to stay. I just want him to be calm and he's actually calm. He's just looking at the window calmly. So I'm not really worried about it. All right, now I'm just going to kind of place the dogs back away from the door. Is that far enough? Yeah. Just because I open up the door doesn't mean we get to go flying out of it. So we've created a boundary. They know they're not allowed to run at the door. The door can be wide open and uh, they know they're not allowed to go. Okay. And that's really, really, having, being able to have your door open with your dogs here is really a powerful tool because it can be a life-saving tool because a lot of dogs shoot out the door and get themselves into a lot of trouble, can get hit by cars, pull their owners down the street and cause a lot of problems in their neighborhood. So you want your dog to condition your dog that this is a boundary here. Xander, come. Good, Xander. Wait. Good. And then next thing... And then they all just think they can come. Come on. I'm actually going to wait for that tail to settle down a little bit. And then I'm going to invite him out. Good. Very nice. Come on, guys. Come on, that's a good job, guys. Come on. Hi. Come on, guys. Good. So, so the 
reason I waited for Maddox's tail to stop wagging was that was an indication of excitement. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it and um, best of luck with your walks and hopefully I hear from you and I can teach you all the other steps that are going to give you a fantastic life with your dog. Um, a walk that's really enjoyable where you're not being dragged down the street, where you can take your dog places because so many people, they can't do things with their dog because it's just stressful to take their dog camping or hiking or to a friend's house or to a pet store or wherever you go with your dog. So my goal is to give you a dog you can go anywhere and do anything with. You want to include your dog in your life. So these little itty bitty little steps make a world of difference. Thanks for watching my video and hopefully I'll hear from you. Bye bye.